everybody welcome welcome we are here with a new playthrough and not just an ordinary playthrough no we're here with an interactive playthrough now let me explain what will happen we are going to play a game of Robinson Crusoe well <laughs> surprise surprise you can see it here in big letters but no we are going to play the game so that actually means I'm going to do the dice rolling for you guys I'm going to move the pawns and stuff like that I'm going to make decisions where needed where I have to make decisions quickly but the other decisions are all up to you so let's go to the table I've set everything up and let's see what will happen here and there we are this is our game board the table filled with much lots of stuff now in the intro you can already pass some things things as you can I took some pictures of the setup so you can already you could already see which items we can build uh, which person well which characters we are using we are going to play with our lady carpenter here and feel free to give suggestions for to name our two characters so we have the car uh, carpenter here and the soldier this male soldier here and uh, well they are full health for now <laughs> which probably won't that long won't that last that long we also have our starting tile with our base camp still no roof or no shelter so we might want to do that we have hammer and nails and we have the bible that we can both use twice in this game what else do we have well we have our scenario and let's take a look at the scenario let me take this over here so we are going to play this special one here the poachers this is one that doesn't come into the base box i thought it would be cool to do this because there are no spoilers for those who have the base game as well and uh, this is one promo that you can get i think you can buy it on uh, the portal site and at conventions they might have this as well for sale this is scenario number 10 the poachers so let's go over this and i also explain what uh, setup changes i have done for this scenario so scenario number 10 we are the guardians of an island which is visited by some poachers save the rare animals captured by them just be careful the rainy season will not help you fulfill this task okay so we need to save captured animals goal of the scenario the goal of this scenario is to build three cages so we have to build three cages let's zoom in so that's here we have well it can be built three times as it says so it costs us rope well we need rope and we need wood for that there we go three cages which we will use to transport the animals wounded by poachers once we have all the cages we have to save three wounded beasts by performing a dedicated action now also part of setup let's, let's just slide a bit over here so we have our beast deck which is normal at setup but we also had to remove the three animals with strength four from the deck and we have to shuffle them and make the separate draw pile from those so these are three strength four animals that have to be rescued now back to here let's go back to the scenario all right what else so that's something we have to do save three wounded beast the player and it might not be clear with the glare sorry the players win at the end of any round as long as they have the safe have saved the required wounded beast and their camp is located on the beast tile so that's something else we have to do so we can move our camp during the game but at the end of the game after we rescued these three animals our camp has to be at the beach so we can move it but then we will have to move it back so very important there's one special rule whenever a new island tile is revealed during the exploration action players immediately receive the resources provided by the sources on the tile which is cool that's good that's good news oh finally some good news so let me go over the changes in setup first so i have I had to remove the uh, river terrain type tiles I had to put them in the middle of the board and they are inaccessible during the game uh, so these two tiles here those are the river tiles so we don't have those 
Also, we had to remove the draw card in the event deck, so I have put that back in the box, so that we won't be having a draw inside of that uh, pile there. Then we also had to remove some inventions, and we had to remove the shortcut. We had to remove the dam and the map, and those are, those two are basic starting items. We had to just had to draw two other ones in their place from the invention draw pile. We had to put a minus one worker token on the gathering resource space and it stays there until the end of the game. So that's over here. So the gather resource action is harder to do the complete game. And then, well, this is the one of the animals that I had to remove. All right, uh, what's next? We have an action that we can do. So besides all of the normal actions, we can also do a special action that allows us to save the three wounded beasts and fulfill the goal of the scenario, of course. The beasts are ready to be rescued from the beginning of the game. Players don't have to explore tiles with beast tokens to save the wounded beast. Player may only take these actions one per round when they have at least one empty cage built, of course. Um, one cage allows to save one beast only, of course. The saving action should be resolved according to the rules of hunting action with the following exception. The beast doesn't provide food, fur or special effects. So to save the beast, we have to do the hunting action. Uh, we get Then we can put the beast into the cage, but we don't get fur and food. Of course, we are not killing them. We are rescuing them. And once saved the wounded beast must be fed with one food, food each night phase if that doesn't happen well the beast dies and players immediately lose wow that might be hard to do so we have not only have to feed our two characters we also have to feed the animals that we save now uh, some else things uh, that we can do if we draw an event with a book symbol we lose one morale we find a trace of animal blood which is not good for morale of course we can also build a fishing pole and during the pr uh, production phase we roll the gray die uh, and if we have a success we receive two uh, f uh, food I su suspect because we are fishing if we roll the fail, then we receive nothing. Also go over these quickly if we draw these tiles, but I'll go over that when we get there. Also, if we have a tile with a totem, stuff can happen. We can fall into traps and well, stuff like that. But that's when it happens. So what else can I tell you? Well, we start at, of course, at round one so let's place that here but don't forget we can build cages and well we should build cages and fishing pool as well and i think that's about it we also have our loyal friend friday because we are playing a two-player game actually so that means we get friday who joins us he can help us and uh, he does not need shelter or food or whatever he is pretty cool and he has his own marker so don't forget that we can use that him as well and well hmm I guess that's it this is the starting setup of this game uh, the carpenter she is starting player so what do I ask of you for this playthrough well a very simple I'm going to do whatever I can all the steps before and after the action phase so and you are going to decide which actions we should take okay now how are you going to decide that so very simple just put what you think is the best action in the comments below and if you like another player's action idea suggestion just give them a thumbs up uh, I think or are they hearts lately I'm not sure just like their message and well the message or the idea with the most votes that was, is the one that will get chosen if might be a combination of more ideas that we put together but it's in the end it's you that decides what will happen so maybe for a short uh, overview uh, go to 
Watch It Plate. It's another channel. You probably know Watch It Plate. It's a channel by Rodney Smith. He does rule explanation videos and he is the best of the best in doing that. He also did one for this game. So please go check out his channel. Go check out the Watch It Plate how to play video for Robinson Crusoe, this new edition. And that way you are completely. Uh, well, you know all the rules and you can join this game. That's something I advise. I will go over some things while playing, but well, I'm not there all the way because you have to decide what we'll do. So very simple. We are going to our first round now, which is very basic. We are going to start the game already, but not that not much is going to happen because first round we don't have an event. So normally we would draw the top event card and then we well, We'll see what happened that doesn't happen this time and then we have the morale phase which is phase two uh, that means if our morale there is on a positive side uh, the active player or the starting player for that round would get these determination tokens sadly enough the morale is at zero let's keep it at least that way and preferably higher then the third phase is the production phase and then we are going to gather resources from well where we are very simple we are now on our beach tile and as you can see the beach tile gives us wood and fish so wood and food so one of each very cool so that's what we take we take it from the reserve there we go so we got some bananas well it's a banana fish and some wood and we place it right over there this is our current stock here so this we can use each time if we go on an adventure and we get some stuff it's in the top goes into the top pile it's not in our camp yet so we have to wait for later so and actually that's it it's already the action phase now i have i didn't show you one thing we also have this here this is where the events will come and will do stuff to us if we don't resolve it before it gets pushed off the board and we started with some food crates crates so we noticed some food crates scattered along the shore so we could get them we could send one worker or one uh, of our worker pawns here and we could get one foot for that or we could sp send two of us there and that means we get one normal food and one of these here and these are food that doesn't go bad because normally at the end if food's still there that's not been eaten it goes away it goes bad and we lose that so that's pretty cool that's something we can do as well now some more important rules let me just talk about them very quickly but go check out the video it is going to if of Rodney it's more interesting and it will tell you about everything that you can do and that can happen now if you choose an action to do we can put place one of our pawns on an action space we can go and explore but let me go over the actions first we can do many actions and it goes from left to right here on the board we can go do this so we can send one or two workers here to get that food we could go and hunt uh, always needs two of us of our pounds now for now we did not find any animals to hunt and it might sound be a little bit strange to hunt while we are trying to stop poachers but hunting for survival uh, that's something that you can do now if you do one of the actions and you send two workers uh, the, you can send well both of the same character but you can also choose to send two different ones now the bad things that happen happen to the leader of this expedition this action so the one on the top so that's something you can do and you can also use Friday to join you okay there we go all right what is our next action we can build stuff and there are lots of stuff that we can build so um i'll place the picture in front of this as i speak so there are all these items 
here that we can build uh, but we need the right terrain for it so the top part of the cards tell you what terrain we need or what well items we already need or what resources so we have a few that asks for fur we have some that have will need rope and uh, well we also need some terrain as you can see and well we can do that we can go and build something so we place our dude or dudes on it and then we're going to build it and we can also build a shelter and we are in a two-player game that costs us two wood or one fur we can build a roof as soon as we have a shelter we can build a roof on top of it and we can also build a palisade to defend us against some animals now and we can also build our weapon level up that means we have to pay wood and we can raise our weapon level so we can easy hunt more easy and rescue those animals more easy also what i did not mention yet with the poacher scenario starting from around three at the end we might be attacked by animals with the animal die we can get some rain animals rain animals and snow even snow though the weather will get worse so we have to take care of that but i will mention that each time I will warn you for the dangers and let's hope we can avoid them. All right, folks. So that's it. That's what I'm going to tell you about this game. Oh, I have some more actions, of course. We can also explore. That means we place one or more of our workers on adjacent tiles. Well, we're not tiles yet. And then we can get more of these tiles there, more of these regions with maybe the terrain type we need for the buildings. We can also well clean up camp that gives us two morale uh, uh, do determination tokens and raises our morale because it's nice to stay in a clean camp and we can also rest which heals us one wound all right have i mentioned everything i think i did well go check out the video to see what these dice do if you send one worker to a mission you have to roll these adventure dice and bad things can happen if you send two pounds to a certain action everything is fine and we don't have to roll those dangerous dice but this game well you have to take some risks all right folks so what i want from you is what we're going to do in this first round the carpenter she is starting player they both have two pounds and we also have Friday to help us. So let us know what to do. By the way, also let me show you the items. I'm sorry, I'm losing some of my structure here. We have so we can use this hammer and nails twice, which gives us one building, one brown worker uh, who can help us build stuff. So we can do that twice. So don't forget those. If we need it, we can use it. And the Bible, so we can, I think, guess we can read in the Bible and pray a little bit. So when we do the arrange camp action, we get three determination tokens and heal one wound instead of just getting those two determination tokens. So that might be useful to survive longer. We also have these two items, of course, that we can build. We can build the snare, but we need the rope for that. And we can also build a spear but we need to have the knife and wood for that okay that's it people i'm counting on you tell me what to do in this first round where to go what to build clean camp whatever i'm also going to show you the carpenter's actions i'm not going to read them all so these actions they can be spent done with determination tokens we don't have them yet so just read them and that's the carpenter you can pause sc screen if needed so that's some things we can do as well during our turn these are the soldier ones there you go there we go so all right folks thanks for watching i hope you'll join this game i'm very excited about this and uh, well i guess next 
videos will be shorter we are going to play a maximum of 10 rounds so it's going to be well depending on how long we survive uh, this might take a few episodes uh, next episode by the way will be filmed this friday so you have until friday um well friday my time so that's uh, european time in belgium gmt plus one i guess i'm not so sure about that uh, so you have until then until i start filming uh, episode two i probably be filming around noon around 1 p.m so uh, send your answers at least uh, thursday all right folks thanks again for watching i'll see you all in the future feel free to subscribe so you can see when a new episode of this playthrough goes online you can expect more things of me as well of course and well comment below give ideas suggestions all right folks that's it I see you all in the future on this cursed island filled with poachers. Bye bye.